For procedures on the distal lower extremity, the sciatic nerve can be blocked in the supine position using a lateral approach anywhere from the popliteal fossa to mid femur. This lateral approach to the sciatic nerve is incredibly useful for patients with fractures who would otherwise have to lift their fractured leg or roll for the traditional approach to the popliteal sciatic nerve block. We place the curvilinear probe on the lateral side of the leg in the transverse orientation just above the knee. Here we can identify the hyperechoic line of the femur and posterior to the femur we see the bright sciatic nerve beneath the biceps femoris muscle. The popliteal vessels are seen between the femur and the sciatic nerve. We can complete the lateral approach to the sciatic nerve block at this level, although it's my personal preference to scan a little higher to make sure I've blocked the nerve proximal to its division into the tibial and common peroneal branches. Our needle will enter in an anterior lateral to posterior medial direction towards the nerve. We'll pop through the fascia of biceps femoris and give a test injection. After confirming we're in the right spot, we'll switch to our local anesthetic. In adults, we'll administer about 20 to 30 ml of local anesthetic like we would for a traditional popliteal sciatic nerve block. In this post-block scan, we see the sciatic nerve is well surrounded as it divides into the tibial and common peroneal branches.